to see you guys. Today, we have got a fabulous show. Jeannie's got a whole new batch of hot deals on exclusive items for yes. everyone at home. Great deals, you guys. All right. All right. Plus, we've got a guy whose good looks aren't the only thing making headlines. That's right, from CNN, Don Lemon is here. Yay! You ready to go? Yes. Yeah. All let's right, do let's do this. Let's yeah. do the girl chat. <laughs> All right, so ladies, I don't know if you guys have heard about this, but this month, there was a major breach of privacy in Hollywood. Uh oh Those very private and often racy photos have gone viral. Mm -hmm. So I have a question for you guys. Do you think there's any way to make sure that those don't ever get out? I would just do what Rihanna does. She hacks her own pictures. <laughs> what? <laughs> what she mean? hacks her own self, you know. How she put she her own breast on Instagram, her own oh. butt. So you know, when somebody hack her phone, it's no big deal. You know, I just think this is technology and we have to deal with it. We, we have to learn and we have to realize that when you do your personal stuff on your phone, it may get out because of the cloud. I don't know why the cloud is... is that cloud is scary. The cloud is telling on everybody. All right. Even pictures you delete are still on the cloud. Oh, shut up. I, know yes. that. I do need to say this to help us is that, you know, Apple has said that they don't believe that the breach was based on their cloud, but something happened with that cloud, <laughs> well, all right? Well, I for me, I have to say, because I'm a mom and, you know, I've, I've been in the public's eye for, for, for so many years, I would want to like do a little, you know, racy picture for my husband. I'm not gonna tell you, Lonnie. You would show your back. Between my husband and I. <laughs> no. But for me, because I know that all these pictures are going everywhere, I have to stop myself. I'm like, you yeah. know what? I just, I'm just not gonna put myself Out there. in that, yeah, so you're position. Y'all just your need life. to go to old fashioned. I'm way. gonna stop. do a Polaroid. Get a Polaroid. <laughs> And then oh, yeah. I'm gonna pull away can still get in the wrong well, then, end. I just say, baby, just 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 wait until you get home. That's it. It's like a little little tease. Yes. Yeah. I'll take the picture and I'll show it to him and I'll be like, you like that? <laughs> Delete. I, oh. I, I'm so afraid yeah, of it. Delete, and you said it's still on the iCloud. Right. I know, but here's the trick. You have to delete it, and then you go into your trash, and you hit delete forever, and then you have to reboot your phone. Oh, girl, you know, you've been sneaking. No, I, I tried it. <laughs> I, know did, that I trick. did. But I will have to say, though, if things got really rough out there and, uh -huh. I don't know, stuff didn't work out for me, if I had to sell a picture of me naked, I might put a little leg out there or a little, a little, a little something, because you know you get desperate. And if people are making money off these pictures, I will be the first to try it. I will. How much you think you're going to get for your picture? Wait, wait, That's the part that's hard. How much you think you're going to get for your picture? If you're going to go put out some naked <laughs> pictures out there, won't you get paid? You say how much you think she's gonna get paid? Something. An Asian magazine would give me like fifty thousand. I think. <laughs> oh, wait, okay, no, right. They would. They would. The All concept right. of people, like I don't yeah. understand the concept of people thinking that people put photos of themselves out there naked on purpose. People yeah. gotta understand, these were stars, and I really think we forget that stars are humans too. Yeah, exactly. I felt like, like I was searching for them and I actually couldn't find them. I found them. I couldn't, I couldn't find you them. Found them? You found them? You saw naked what pictures happened? of somebody else? What was you doing? And you why were you stay? searching for them? Well, I was like, oh my God, what happened? Let me look it up. And I was like, ah! And then I, and then <laughs> I, and then I closed it really quick. I obviously but her looked spirit. too late, cause they had taken I, them all down by the well, time Yeah, I but looked. I felt really bad for her because I yeah. love Jennifer Lawrence. I think the debate is why do people feel like they have to take them? Like have you ever been laying in the bed and just doing something and you think something's cute and you look up and you snap the picture with the person to just have those moments and remember them. I don't have moments no. where I'm naked. I don't. <laughs> Not, I didn't say naked, laying in the bed. Yeah. Adrian, you're Tell the it. queen of selfies. Yeah, thank yeah. you. Yes, Majority right of here. America, they don't take as many selfies as you do. Yeah, but yours you, are beautiful. You love They <laughs> really thank are. You. I just try to capture the moments and things to remember. Like, my man takes amazing photos and he has captured so many amazing moments. And I realized that for like, half of my life, I don't have any photos of anything. Okay. Logan and Aiden are gonna have so many photos, yeah, it's true. so many videos thanks to the iPhone. Like, we have all these moments yes. that we can capture. You know, capture. I'm still really, really bad at that, though. Really? You yeah, because I'm a little old school when it comes to that, so I'm not thinking about, oh, when let me whip up my phone and capture this moment. You know right. what I mean? Like, so I, I, don't... I think you're more private than, you know, old school. I just think you want to have that moment with Logan because he's so yummy. Yeah. Do you guys remember when you would take pictures at school mm -hmm. and oh. you'd get the school photo Mm -hmm. And when you really liked the photos, you would write on the back and sign it for your friend and write like a whole thing in TTYL, see you next summer, whatever, on the back of the photo. Yeah. Oh, because all my photos were hideous. My the really? haircuts I had were wrong. All your school photos? Oh, yes. Every single one of my school photos. I had both. T-A-D-O. So. I, I didn't have a weave in my school. I had a gap. I mean, a good zap. 
Oh, and they have such pretty teeth. And I know, right? I had right? braces three times, so I had to keep getting the, really? you know, the braces until it stuck. Now they stuck. They're very uh, pretty. Wait, <laughs> did you really know when you looked at your pictures at that age that you yeah. weren't? I, I, I was a care. dork. I was a nerd really? in high school. Oh, really? Yeah. We hey, saw you on TV in high I'm school. Surprised. Like, you were a superstar in high school. Still a dork, and as Tamar is saying, I, I guess I still am. No, I'm yeah. saying, get your life together and in order and intact. Tamara, I'll never cute. forget there was one episode where you and your sister were going to get makeovers yeah. in order to be cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And you guys both showed off different sides of you. Well, I guess because we were kids on TV in, in high school, and mm -hmm. that's not always a, a very fun experience. So mm -hmm. that means a lot that you guys are saying. Yeah. I think I was, I'm kind of living in, in, in the past. Yes, a little girl, because I got me a wet and wavy weave just to look like y'all. Really? Oh, okay. Oh, 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 I yeah, love yeah. that. Everybody well, did. Well, I remember really? I had that wavy wig. It didn't, it didn't turn out pretty. No, I mine didn't look like her. Well, thanks, guys. And I want to say that there weren't a lot of young people of color on television at that time. Mm. So you and your sister yes. gave us, you know, yes. hope. You, yes. love you, you were something. Yeah. You, you yeah. were something. Okay. okay. Absolutely. Thank you. I love <laughs> your yeah. curly hair. You made me love having my curly hair. Like, you guys yeah. get involved in Throwback Thursday? Yeah. Instagram. I, I personally like to look at people's like throwbacks yes. and see what they looked like when they were young. And that's when like the stalker in me starts to come out. And I'll, I'll start on someone's throwback Thursday and end up on their cousin's sister's roommate's uncle's <laughs> niece's throwback Thursday. Uh -huh. It depends on the comment, right? Yes. Right. If you see a comment, you click on that, and then you end up down the rabbit hole. Does that happen to anybody else? Yes. I was a Facebook stalker, and, and I'm not very proud of what I'm going to say. Oh, Lord. Um, but I was so bad that I actually had to get off Facebook. <laughs> I would stalk my husband's, like, high school girlfriend. What? I just wanted really? To see, I wanted to see what they looked like then, and then I would stalk. Yes. Y'all never did that. Like, no. if you dated somebody, I, I and do then it you all found the time. out, you know, who their girlfriend is now, you go on the Facebook page and say, oh, who are they dating now? Oh, they're in a relationship. Ooh, what does she look like? Yes. Yes. I, I, why I have, did he like her? Why did he yeah. like her? Like, but I don't why? know why I do that. One okay. time I was rolling on the thing, and you know how sometimes you need to refresh, so you're, like, rolling through and your right. screen gets a little stuck, uh -huh. and then you end up doing the doo -doo, the double tap, <gasps> and you no. like the photo. No. Tell me you've never liked a photo and that you, you didn't go. mean to like. <laughs> and then it pops up, and they see that you liked their photo. No! Yes. <laughs> Out there. I'm so happy to be involved in a marriage where my I know exactly where my man is because I just trust and Do I know, you know where he is. Really, because you're I, not with him physically. That's right. I'm not. But trust me, whenever I look even across the house at his you Facebook page, I see that he's got elk camo and a bunch of like dudes and trees and and stuff like. I'm like. But who's behind the elk is the question. <laughs> oh, my so like, oh you better learn to check. I read the craziest statistic last night. According to a survey conducted by the American Academy of Matrimonial Lawyers, one in five divorces involve social networking site Facebook. That's Ooh, so crazy. Really? Isn't that sad? Okay, can I just jump on this real quick? Jump on it. Jump because on Because sometimes your curiosity leads you to the right path. Okay. okay. But I heard you what I'm saying? curiosity yeah, killed the cat. Or, or got you it the makes cat? your cat reborn. Do you understand? But, 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 it awakens that cat. Can I ask this, though? You better listen. When your curiosity, yeah, kitty, 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 when kitty, your curiosity kitty. leads you to the right path, w is it too much to ask if you feel curious to begin with, then that's already a suspect relationship or... No, no, that's you're paranoid. I can't lie and say I'm not paranoid based upon my past experience. It has exactly. nothing to do with Vincent. And I had to be, everything to do yeah, with Yeah, I have to be real experience. with myself, experience. you know, at the end of the day, that, you know, it's me. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Sometimes it's us ladies. Yes, it you is. Know? Sometimes it's not the guys. Sometimes they're really, really nice. Sometimes they're really telling the truth. But I don't believe you because <laughs> Jackson lied to me before you. So but now it's your fault. I, I just You're wonder, a human. Though, if a woman it has happens. to check a man's Facebook or has to, or feels curious Tell to it. begin with, then already there's something inside of you that you don't have that's solid with your man. Nope, and I it disagree. doesn't matter what woman that. is out I there. Totally you totally gotta disagree. fix that. I, don't know about I agree, Gina. You have to fix that. I, I, don't know I that. agree with Gina. And I think the too. one out of five Facebook divorces end up because there was lack of trust and there was stray and somebody didn't take a naked self but, somewhere but to sometimes, make somebody happy. Okay, no, I'm just this is the issue, Jeannie. Okay. You're on one end of the spectrum, uh -huh. and then Tamar's on the other end of the totally. spectrum. Have you ever there been is, there is a There is a middle ground, mm -hmm. and I do agree with what you're saying, because I'm there now. 
I was where she was because my past experiences, you know, have caused me to, to be always doubtful. But then I met the right man to say, listen, Tamara, you, you need to stop doing that because it's jacking up, you know, our, our relationship right mm -hmm. now. I, I had to learn to, to, to trust. So there's always going to be like a middle, a middle ground. I think when it comes to Facebook, social media in general, you need to have rules. If you're going to have a relationship with a man, you guys need to set up your rules of what's appropriate, what's not appropriate, because definitely it's not going to go away. Okay, now, you, now you guys are going to think I'm even crazy. But oh I'm gonna Lord. put it out there. Okay, put it out there. One thing I wish Freddie would have more of is girlfriends. He girl, has what? Them all together. Now, I, see, I knew you. Wait, were, I'm going to be real. 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 Okay, because I we talk about this. This is something I've had an issue with with Freddie. He 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 has all dude friends, and his only girlfriends are his his sisters. And his parents taught him that if you hang okay. up with a woman and she's not your girlfriend, then it can come off weird to other people. So don't have that look. So today, if I have Your a girl, like like right wise. now, if we were having drinks, he would not join us. If you invited him, unless Vince really? came, unless Lenny came, he would not come because he doesn't like to be around girls because he's not comfortable with it. So therefore, he ain't it, 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 makes girls me, around you. it makes me leave, it leaves me Why out of it. Why are you so uncomfortable though? I would question that because if we were all sitting around the table, he doesn't get with any Herbert, he would sit next to me and be very comfortable. Right, so right. So what I am saying is if he's uncomfortable with me around a group of girls, I would question that like, are, are you... I'm, I'm no, missing no. something? No. Why are we uncomfortable? Because the second he's uncomfortable about it, you drove home to see where he is. He's sitting at home watching hunting shows, drinking beer. Just hung or, up the phone. Or just, no. Well, you get no. an interesting uh, I, question. I, I, I'm just asking, do you, you, you girls that's like your husband. Man? I want to ask that to the other ladies. Do you okay. feel comfortable if, you're, if your man has Like this lady girlfriend? No. Or Adam to have some, like, cool girlfriend. Adam can't have a cool girlfriend? Well, Adam has girl co-workers that they hang out in a group, but he doesn't have a girl. Home girl. Co yeah, like a girl that he would just hang out with by himself. No. So this is just across the board. All you guys don't find it cool if your man has. I'm the cool and, girlfriend, okay? That's what I'm I trying to say. say. I'm I wish cool I think it depends on. I'm the... that girl because I have a, a, a best friend and we talk every night. Uh -huh. And any woman that he's with, he says, Lonnie is my girl. Right. Mm -hmm. We have never had any type, mm -hmm. it's strictly platonic, and I'm that type of chick. I don't look at him that way, he don't look at me mm -hmm. that way. So I'm saying, if you had a girl like me, you know, would you want to meet her? Would it be a problem? I mean, because we work together. Mutual and girlfriends, girlfriends is are completely fine. Yeah. different than a girl that is solely his girlfriend yeah. and is not my girlfriend. Yeah, I'm not okay. But check it out, guys. But check but it out. We, I have more she guys can be our friends friend. than I do mm -hmm. girlfriends. Oh, and I, I don't. love chilling with guys. But there's something I learn different and respect my man differently when I hang out with guys because they give me advice and they get me to see a side of Freddie that I'm like, oh, I guess so I'm they're not. Those guy friends aren't. Friends with Freddie. They are too, but they're my well, friends for okay, like. Oh, yeah. they're mutual. Saying. We're talking about mutual, so it's okay. Yeah. Well, we your friends should always be comment. mutual. Right yes. down there. <laughs> yes, so, Tamar. Okay, I'm trying to understand this relationship, okay. here, Jeannie. Please don't judge me. Sure. <laughs> no, I'm not. No, I'm really. putting myself out there for yeah, you to judge. All the me, way. I'd like you to hear. Because at the end of the day, you know, when you get married, you're supposed to be marrying your best friend. Right. Yes. So therefore, I have a problem, and it disturbs me when you say you wish your man had more female friends. Yeah. Because what you're doing to me is setting your Self up for failure, okay? What? Females tries it, honey. No, no. Not all okay, they don't fail. You, not you all are them. way too trusting, I've baby. I've never, I've not never all. had any. No, and problems. I'm telling you this as now, <coughs> but I'm telling you this as a sister friend, okay? Don't trust these heifers like that girl around no, your but man. I, here's, here's, here's the thing, though, guys. Uh -uh. I'm not even gonna deal with the women. It mm. takes two to tango. You know, we can and go if anybody on and threw on something on and on. Yeah, it only takes one to tango. This is what I have to say. Yeah, we could talk about this forever. Make sure you just trust your gut. Okay, yes. you got to keep your eyes open. I, I trust my gut trust and I gut. trust my guy. Okay, then hey, yes. we yeah. have to take a break. But stick around because coming up, Jeannie's got a whole new batch of my I picks, like which it. means hot products and huge sales for you. Keep watching, they're real. <laughs> Bikini, thong, or full-on granny girl, underwear is a secret we usually keep to ourselves. But that secret says a lot about who you are as a person. So we're gonna explain what your undies say about you. Okay, so I'm gonna go first. I'm pretty girly in the underwear department. So 
when I think of girly, I think of ruffles and bows. It says you're feminine, you're delicate, and you like feeling special. It also says you're sensual. Side note, when you're wearing these for your boo, it's like you're a gift he gets to unwrap. And Ooh. trust me, he is not gonna return you. Yes, Adrian. So I love to strut in front of my man in something comfortable and real. My boy shorts. They show just enough booty, which you know I'm kinda need more help in. If the cleavage from my butt comes out in the bottom and it makes me feel a little bit donkalicious, and boy shorts say that you're active, adventurous, and up for anything. That sounds right if you're talking about my undies. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Why y'all laughing? Cause. <laughs> okay, for the cotton undie girl, think about spicing it up by getting different patterns and sayings. Here are some days of the week ones. Sometimes, are y'all laughing again? <laughs> A bit. Sometimes you can wear them out of order if you're feeling, you know, like wow, you know? <laughs> Girls like me don't need all the frills to feel hot. We make comfort a priority. What about you, Tamar? Well, I'm definitely and for sure are not wearing days of the week undies, okay? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Because she likes to be covered in lace because she likes to feel ladylike, yes? <laughs> you know, women like me, you know, we refuse to accept anything below standard, especially below the waist. Ooh. We may look delicate, but we enjoy being sport because we simply deserve it, okay? What about you, Miss Lonnie? <clears throat> Lonnie, what's up with your child? Yeah, I don't normally do laundry, Mine... so it's taking me a minute. <laughs> Mine aren't in there. What? What you mean? It's called Commando Heifer. Oh. <laughs> All right, so now you've learned a little bit more about us underneath. If these underwear traits sound like you, tell us about it. You can find us at The Real Daytime and make sure you use the hashtag RealUndies. Keep it locked. We'll be right back with more of The Real. <laughs> journalist and straight-talking CNN news anchor who also happens to be easy on the eyes. Fresh from the New York newsroom, please help us welcome Mr. Don Lemon. Yay! Woo! No idea. You are my crush, and I know how much you love bacon. This I stayed up all night making this so that it would be fresh, and I warmed you it up did? this morning. You did. Oh my god! I love lemon and I love bacon. So here, there we yeah. go. Yeah. Oh. This will be our food porn in the morning. Don, like hi, Don. We're here too. Oh, hi. Hey, hi. I'm sorry. We look like it. Can they have some of the bacon? No. I like bacon. What are we, a I'm side sorry. of sliced beef? What, I'm, hello? Sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Lonnie is my boo. No, normally we have all our guests come out and spin a wheel. Okay. But you already got me spinning, baby. <laughs> <laughs> You too. Thank you. Y'all are fine. I, I watch you guys every day. I you know, do. I love, I love it. You so yeah, much. I love it. Okay. As a big CNN news anchor, yeah. you're rarely on this side of the table, I'm okay? Not. So, how does it feel to be in the hot seat now? I'm a little bit nervous, because I don't know what you guys are going to really? say. Really? Yes! <laughs> you need to be nervous, because we don't know what we're going to ask you either. You can ask me anything you want. Anything you want. <laughs> anything? You can anything? ask me anything. Oh, okay, anything I got a good one. Go ahead. Now, in 2011, you broke every girl's heart <laughs> oh, in America. Come on. You're so hot when I you came very... out. So tell us, is there anyone special in your life? There is, uh, besides my mother and Lonnie, Aww. no. There's no one, I am dating. I was yes. in a long relationship for a while. Yeah. I just, I work so much, I'm married to my career. There's and no that's why I think why we get along because we're both married to our career, so we kind of understand each other. You get it though. Yeah, but if you keep doing this, I'm gonna take your man, all right? <laughs> <laughs> but Lonnie, I need, I want children still. You oh, really? Yeah, you better go somewhere else. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! Wait, so I think that's so interesting. Wait, I do. I want children. But then you'll need as much time, if not more, to be a father than you do uh, to be in a relationship. I don't have to have a relationship with the nanny. 
That's right. I can have the kid. The kid could be here with me. It could be in the green room. It can hey travel now. on the plane. So, you know, true. you can. Yeah, no, you're you right. Go. You're right. I yeah. respect that. He'll be a great dad, too. You yeah. think so? Absolutely. I think he will. That yeah. is yeah. awesome. You'd be a great love. dad. I could see you riding down the block with your kid on a skateboard. Oh, I take him on a skateboard. <laughs> I'm in too. <laughs> it clears my head, seriously. Good. And it keeps awesome. it fun. I yeah. feel like you like to have an ambiance of fun around Yeah, you. and then I call Lonnie. Yeah. Oh. You do. That's so funny. And then we sext. Yeah. What? What? <laughs> a little bit. A little bit. Okay, well, speaking of that, tell me what is the most embarrassing moment? I have to be honest at this table. You got to be real. Yes. Yes. It's right. real. So here's the thing. I, it's real. So I, I am so happy that there was no internet then. There was no social media then. This was back in the late 90s. And I was doing a live shot. I was working for a station in St. Louis, Missouri. I had a microphone in one hand and a prop in the other hand with my notes, and my nose started to run. God! Oh. <laughs> what? Like so, dripping? Yes, like, just down. Oh, that's such so a I was like, okay, live from the scene, Don Lemon, back to you. And the anchor kept asking me questions, and I'm like, don't ask me another right. question. She kept asking me questions, and then it just started to go down, oh. and I did the drip. God, oh it's like, you can't. Yeah, yeah, and I didn't want to go like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Don, what's the craziest thing that's happened to you recently? Recently, um, I'm sure everyone's been watching the Ferguson coverage because it's been yeah, everywhere. Right, but right. I, we, I was live on the air, and they started with the tear gas. I don't know yeah. if you saw that. And I so saw that I got that. tear gas on the air. And so I'm, I was like, should I put the tear gas mask on or shouldn't I? And then I put it on, and my producer was like standing behind the camera going, but he put his on. And so <laughs> I put it, and I was sounding like, <laughs> you know, like when you were scuba diving. Yes. <laughs> And I was like, I'm going to look silly. This is going to be all over the internet. But they were legitimately tear gassing me. So I had to put it on. I put it on. Let me for a tell you while. something, Don Lemon. I was so proud of you because you were in Ferguson for three days with the same outfit on. And as a gay man, that was a sacrifice. <laughs> I know. So, yes. I was proud of you. Oh, yes. <laughs> you, you I, I, got, I got no sleep, but that was a, it was a very important story. Yes, I did. You did your thing. And I was proud of you yeah. for representing us the way you should have. Thank so, you. Thank you. Thank you. On September 20th, you hosted the 8th annual Add yeah. Color Awards for the second year in a row yeah. at the Beverly Hilton. Tell us about the Add Color Awards and their initiative. Add Color supports uh, diversity in advertising and media and, and, and product promotion, and that's what it's about. And so every year there is an award ceremony that we honor people who in the business mm -hmm. have celebrated and supported diversity. Mm -hmm. People of color want to watch television and they watch television and they buy products mm -hmm. and you know they should be represented. We have a little challenge for you. We yes. know oh, okay. We know that you you know you break all types of news stories uh -oh. over the years. So we're gonna give you a few crazy scenarios. Oh no. And you have to break the news. <laughs> oh, and no. this is called News Flash on the Real. Hello everyone, this is Don Lemon. This just in Vice President Joe Biden is getting a new weave. Yes! He is currently deciding between Hawaiian silky and <laughs> Nubian twists. He, he is leaving it to the people of the real. Yeah! And is urging you to get out and vote. Yes! That was good. That was pretty good. I think right. we could do better. Right. Come on, come, come on. Better. Come on, we okay. got another one. Here we, we go. In. This is Don Lemon on the real. This is serious. Okay, dun dun dun. Okay, get ready. The National Weather Advisory Board has reported that Hurricane Lonnie <laughs> is crossing through high desert regions. They are claiming that this one is worse than Tornado Tamar that ripped through the plains and left nothing but tumbleweed. <laughs> Thanks for joining me on The Real News Flash. I'm Don Lemon. Don't forget to squeeze me. <laughs> One of the hottest health trends right now is juicing. But did you know that besides being an easy, portable health routine, certain juices can actually help solve your everyday problems? Mm. What? Yes. Yep. Plus, if you don't have time to eat your fruits and veggies, this is a quick, tasty fix. So get excited. We're going to be juicing away your problems. <laughs> Living out here in LA, I'm constantly fighting how brittle this desert air can be. It makes your skin all dry. I hate that feeling. So when I found this amazing juice that helps hydrate, I do it every single morning, you guys. Swear to God. So here's how it works. This juice is so refreshing and incredibly easy to make. All you do is combine coconut water and coconut meat into a blender like this. Mix it like that. After it's blended, you strain it through a clean cheesecloth and twist it nice and tight and then 
Squeeze it, make sure your hands are clean, of course. You literally almost can practically skip your moisturizer because your skin feels a totally different sensation of moisture. Oh! Okay. Well, look here, I about died when I found this cherry berry juice that tastes so good and helps me get thine sleep for thine face, okay? <laughs> There's something natural in cherries that help your sleep pattern stay on track. No lie, this is a true story. And cause your gout to go down, right? Oh. So let's make this juice. Fresh or frozen cherries, some berries and blueberries, and also an apple. And you put that in the blender and you put this through that little... Uh, Mm. What is that? Little strainer That's right here. <laughs> you just mix her around to get all fancy pants mm. like that. And this is the final result. Look what happiness that helps you and your beauty sleep, girls. Yes, very important. I definitely hear you on the sleeping thing, Tamar. Yes. But when I don't get the rest that I need, I still have to find the energy to chase Aiden around. And you know I hardly drink coffee. So what I discovered is this gorgeous green mix of fruits and veggies. Right? Yeah. Nani, can you taste it? I'll try it. You try it. Is it good? What do you See, think? It, it's blended very well, isn't it? It needs some brown liquor, but right. okay. Really? <laughs> but the juice yeah. has kale, spinach, romaine, lettuce, apple, ginger, lemon, and celery. And I promise it'll put a little pep in your step, and it's perfect for busy moms like us. All right, well, you two mommies may not remember, but nothing is worse than a hangover. Ugh. After my sexy, satisfied singles night out, mm -hmm. I want a quick way to make it all go away. So this juice is a lifesaver. It's a mix of turmeric spice and vanilla goodness. Do you know turmeric spice helps the liver digest? Yes. I didn't know that. Me yes. either. Toxins like alcohol. Major. And you know what, really, seriously, this juice is pretty simple to make. In a saucepan, you mix the rice milk. Mm. Mm. You mix the ground cinnamon. Mm. And the vanilla, the dry ginger, all of this stuff, and warm it over a low heat for a few minutes. And I promise y'all, because I've tried this, <laughs> you will feel like new. This is how I get to work in the morning sometimes. You will feel like new. It smells Funny. good. It smells so good. All right, when I get my sweat on, sometimes I go above and beyond, say. Now, Queen Bee is the soundtrack to my workouts, and she's also the inspiration behind the juice that soothes my sore muscles after a trip to the gym. So, because Bee is drinking watermelon, I'm drinking watermelon. All right, this fresh juice is made of watermelon, lemon juice, then you add a little bit of mint, Toss it all in the blender, and you got yourself a juice that's as flawless as Beyonce. <laughs> I'm gonna blend this. And voila, there you have it. I've been drinking watermelon. Good stuff. I'll try it for you. Hey! hey. <laughs> delicious. Give me my drink. Oh, no, this is delicious. You drink out of that. Lonnie! Mm -hmm. Lonnie, you wouldn't hang your drop in my watermelon. Thank you. So much. anyway, five juices, <laughs> five problems solved. It's easy, it's healthy, solving problems never tasted so good. Try it, you guys. It's so good, I promise. For these recipes, head to thereal.com. We'll be right back. You're watching the real. <laughs> shaking it, but it's time to move on out of here. Thanks to my buddy, Don Lemon, for stopping by. Hit us up at thereal.com for more of the stuff you can't get anywhere else. We'll see you next time. Thank you so much for watching us here on The Real. Now let's dance, girls, yeah. right? Yeah.